Welcome to a new Scary Tuesday TikTokers. Today, we'll be traveling to Costa Rica and Panama to meet one of the creepiest legends in their folklore. Prepare to meet La Tule Vieja. The origin of this character is uncertain, although many believe that it comes from the Bribiri mythology, specifically in the territory of Talamanca at the border between Costa Rica and Panama. That is why this myth is shared by both countries. In the Bribri mythology, there is a diabolical creature named Itzo, which is very similar to the Tule Vieja. This demonic creature has otherworldly strength and can shape shift. However, other versions compare La Tule Vieja with another mythological creature from Latin America, La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman. There are different versions of the legend of La Tule Vieja, but in all of them, this creature gets her name because it always wears a tule hat, which is made from the leaves of the plant of the same name. La Tule Vieja is a female spirit of short height, tangled hair, and with her naked chest exposed. She's a woman and birth hybrid, and has short but pretty strong wings. Sometimes people describe those as bird wings, and others say they are actually bat wings. She also has a sparrow hawk claws instead of legs, and when she walks, she leaves inverted footprints so nobody can follow her. In the most widespread version, her story is very similar to the myth of La Llorona. The legend says that La Tule Vieja was a young woman who always wore her tule hat, even when going to bed. She was also married, but cheated on her husband and ended up with an unwanted pregnancy. She then escaped to Punta Arena so nobody would discover her, and after giving birth, she put her baby inside her tule hat and then placed them in a river. She wanted the baby to starve to death so she could continue with her previous life. However, shortly after she regretted her decision and went back to the river, the baby was no longer there and only the tule hat remained. La Tule Vieja couldn't stand the pain and guilt and decided to throw herself to the river to end her life. However, after what she did, God wouldn't allow her soul to rest in peace so easily. God transformed her into the woman-bird hybrid we described before, and in that new form, she could then be seen wandering around the river where she lost her son. Her spirit is always crying, desperately looking for her baby with the hope of finding him one day and break her curse. Her breasts are also filled with milk, always ready to breastfeed. So she feeds any baby she finds in her way and can appear in towns attracted by the crying of newborns. This is why this legend produces so much dread in townsfolk. They fear that La Tule Vieja will kidnap their children, believing that one of them is her baby. Another version of the story says that after the young woman died from drowning in the river, she actually transformed into a demon. She would then appear in front of men in her human form, with her chest exposed and dancing seductively. And once the man touches one of her breasts, from it will come out a swarm of zompapa ants to sting the victim all over his body, leaving him completely paralyzed. Then La Tule Vieja transforms back into her demon self with holes in her face, sparrowhawk claws instead of legs and wings. And finally, she flies off with her immobilized victim to devour him later. In some places, another version of the story says that La Tule Vieja actually has the appearance of an elder woman with deep wrinkles and scars. She's always dressed in black and is almost always carrying firewood. In that version of the legend, they say that an old woman lived next to the Virilla River in an old and shabby house. She used a big tule hat to cover herself from the sun, and some nasty kids in town would mock her for it. So they gave that old woman the nickname of La Tule Vieja. Tule because of her unusual hat, and Vieja because of her old age. Those mean kids had fun bullying the old woman, and when she had a stick next to her, she would chase those kids with it to give them a lesson, but she never managed to catch them. She would frequently go out to look for firewood and would also carry a bunch of plantains on her head. However, one day, as she was coming back home, the wind blew her hat away, and it fell in the turbulent waters of the Tidibi River. 
She jumped into the river trying to recover her head, but the current was too strong and drowned her. It is said that from that day on, La Tule Vieja appears with her huge tule hat and covered chest, sparrowhawk claws, bat wings, the face of a witch, and carrying firewood. This creature flies and dives from the sky to attack sinners, tearing them into pieces and killing them. So, be very careful whenever you walk near a river, tic-tackers. You never know what dangerous creatures could be lurking around. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!